I know a lot of people are indifferent about having shower in their vans. I personally love it. I absolutely love being able to shower. I love being able to have this step for toilet. It is not a composting toilet, so it doesn't have any um, tubes or anything going down to the gray water, black water, whatever water it is. I don't understand. Still in Padre Island on the beach and literally this is what I have to wake up to. Like the sun is out. I may need to turn Zion around and get some solar, some good solar because it's right here. It says it's supposed to rain today. We'll see but look at it y'all there is just miles and miles of beach here and if you have not visited Patrick's Island before and want to have a good secluded if you're in Texas and want to have a, a good secluded spot free I would definitely recommend Patrick's Island it's absolutely amazing last night I was, I kept waking up and I was just so worried about um, the water coming up too far. What do they call it? The current? That's, I don't know what they call it. But so worried about the water coming too far up and taking me away. I even had a dream about it. <laughs> That's how you know I'm scary. Oh, I'm working through it. Just, <laughs> I just didn't have a good night's sleep yeah but today the forecast says it's gonna rain around 12 o'clock it's nine o'clock right now I want to get and soak up as much Sun as I can okay guys so got some coffee just straightening up when I work I like to have everything organized and clean it keeps my mind clear like Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. No, I like to get everything done in the morning. I like to work in a clean, open, productive environment. So this is why I make my bed. I like to make my bed. A lot of people don't like the use of the dinette in the bed situation. No, okay. But I do. I I do. And then when it's in bed mode, I just throw all of my throw pillows. Excuse me, cleavage. I just throw all of my throw pillows up front. That way, I don't have to sleep with a million and one pillows. That's just the way I like to do things. I made some coffee. <sighs> I really feel like I need to turn my vehicle around so I can get some, um, some sun. We'll see. I may want to have my back end facing that way so I can open the back doors and just have a cool breeze flow. You know what I mean? I have some sugar-free vanilla syrup. Add a few drops to that. Some heavy cream. Heavy whipping cream. So technically, I used to only get the sugar-free vanilla syrup from Starbucks. Um... And this is my first try. I bought this, you know, since I've been on the road. And this is my first try having this kind of this kind of sugar-free vanilla syrup. And I don't know if I like it because it makes me go to the restroom, number two. Um, and it's not pleasant. So I, I'm trying to figure out if it's the coffee, the new coffee that I'm trying, or if it's this this new syrup that I'm trying. Um, I just don't know. Normally. At home home, I get, you know, the ground Starbucks coffee and I also get the bottle of sugar-free vanilla syrup from Starbucks. So maybe my body is trying to adjust. Who knows? We'll see if this makes me have the runs or not. Mm. Oh, that is so good. I do have a dream. I have a dream. A few things you may should know about me or want to know about me. I don't know. But I'm a lover of coffee. I'm a lover of wine. I'm a lover of real estate. I'm a lover of technology. FYI, I did buy a new laptop. So, your girl's back in effect. Um, and one day, 
I would love to have a coffee shop. I would love to have, oh, is that a crab? Oh, look at the crab. The littlest things distract me and amaze me and make me happy. Um, but I get a lot of questions about when are you gonna settle down or are you gonna settle down or do you gonna get are you gonna get married, blah blah blah. I don't know what determines settling down, but I know for sure that I will not be settling down in the United States. Europe is where my heart is most at peace. And so I would love to have a vineyard in either England, France, Italy, or Spain. That is my all-time dream, to have a vineyard on a, in a chateau, a chateau in a vineyard in Europe, uh, and a coffee shop in town. That's that, that will make me happy. That will make me happy. I don't understand why you're This cereal is so good, and I'm not sure where else they carry it. I'm almost out. It's a good alternative to eat, so I don't have to use my stove. It is keto. Nothing flies. Shoot, fly! Don't bother me. Ah! Okay guys, so I've made it to my temporary destination. I decided to come into town because I needed to get good internet access for tomorrow and Friday. I have a few meetings on both of those days. So being able to work on Wi-Fi is very important for me the next two days. I, I can't complain. It's, it's a huge parking lot. It's literally right here on the marina. People are out fishing that way. People are out fishing that way. And I, I can't, I, I, you know, I can't complain. My face is a little shiny. Um, there's nothing more to see, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I, Overlander, if you're just now starting this venture, or if you are wondering where do you find places to park at, I, Overlander, has, has been one of my go-tos if I'm not staying at a Harvest Host. I'm going to call it a night, guys, and then hopefully tomorrow I get into something a little more exciting for you guys. But until then... Have a good night. Hey guys, next day, long story short, nothing's happening today. Oh, and I'm uh, mentally from meeting one second. I don't understand you're What's going on? Long time no talk, right? So I have some leftover chicken here. I'm just gonna slide some oil to me. Let it dribble down my spine. Name that movie. <laughs> Turn on the inverter. I'm at 100% so I feel comfortable doing all this. Um, really quick, let me put a quick disclaimer in there. Um, as I'm editing this video, I realized that I was on the topic of the toilet in the shower and I kind of hopped around I got distracted a little bit so just I'm putting a, a an apology in there for you guys sorry for hopping around and being distracted but I do get to the point just FYI thanks for watching one thing I want to talk to you guys about is the toilet shower situation on is okay I personally love that I have my wet bath 
don't talk about me it's a little messy right now i know a lot of people are indifferent about having shower in their vans i personally love it i absolutely love being able to shower i love being able to have this that for toilet it is not a composting toilet so it doesn't have any um tubes or anything going down to the gray water black water whatever water it is um this is just a simple step for toilet when i tell you this step for toilet number one is probably one of my best things that i have in the van i just love having access to my shower and you know watch my good get also serves as storage for my luggage here you're probably wondering why i have luggage is because you know number one it serves as storage for my heavier duty items and my shoes and also when i plan on flying somewhere back home wherever it is i have my suitcase that's a given right i have these two little hooks here um amazon i believe this is my dirty clothes bag this is actually the bag that was supposed to be for my suitcase you know a little cover suitcase cover but it serves as a great laundry bag and i hang my towels um washcloth and you know body towel as well i have my umbrella here when i'm driving i just scoot the toilet over slide my roller uh, suitcase in here and everything is secure boom voila there it go stand you right there in the face and um it just it works for me it took five minutes and it's still crispy okay so like i was saying um what was i saying i can't speak for anybody but myself and i love my toilet i love my shower now with my toilet let's 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 clear something up with my toilet it is not a composting toilet i believe with composting toilets they have to have some kind of tube that goes outside to the in i don't know where the tube goes but i don't have any tube i don't want no tube um and i am comfortable enough emptying my toilet in a regular toilet because not composting it's just like going to the bathroom you know so what I do is when I get somewhere, is it done? Reason number one why I have an air fryer, because I want to. Reason number two why I have an air fryer is because I don't like regular leftover food in the microwave. That's nasty, that's soggy. And um, when I want some leftover something that I've had, it, it acts like it's freshly made, freshly cooked. Even when I cook regular stuff, if I throw some pork chops in there, it's going to be like, it's fried. <laughs> oh, yes, Jesus. So, you know, that's why I have an air fryer. I love air fryers. Going back to the toilet. Let me eat. I'll be back with y'all in a minute because I don't want y'all talking about me smacking and all that stuff. Literally four hours later, all of my meetings are finished. <sighs> and the sun is out or setting i should say can't really remember where i left off but i know that we were discussing the importance of my shower and my toilet so in regards to my toilet i've been getting questions in regards to is it worth it i say 100 percent. a lot of people that's not their thing i love my toilet and and i like that it's really not come well i think i like that it's not composting because i don't want to have to try to find actual dump stations when i can use a toilet um and and go that route um i do not do the number two i do not do the do in my toilet um i i, I just don't I, I don't have time for that it has really saved me throughout the night in the middle of the night when I really have to go you know pee and I won't step foot outside I'm not opening this door for nothing I'm not I'm not stepping, I'm not even putting the toe outside so this toilet has really saved my life I'm not you know that's just what it is um, my shower it has come in handy fyi and keep in mind that if you're going the shower route and if you want hot water then um you have to get a hot water heater i have one of those bosch hot water heaters and it takes about 15 minutes for it to 
warm up, right? Once I turn on the inverter and then turn on this little switch right here, that draws so much power on your electricity and your battery goes down quicker than even my induction or my, my um, what's it called, uh, air fryer, right? So keep that in mind if you're thinking about going the shower route and um, want actually hot water for your shower or your sink or, or whatnot. Now, because I have, you know, the batteries I have, um, it, it's, it's just something to keep in mind. If you have a million and one amp hours in your van, then go for it, girl. That's just something I wanted to put in your ear. Good morning, guys. So, it's rainy outside. It's going to rain all day today. My intention was to go to the beach and sit for the next three days, but today it's rainy, and with, I don't want any extra problems trying to get out of muddy, soft sand. So, I decided that today will be a working day. I'm going to go to another local coffee shop. The one I was at last time, the coffee wasn't that good. It's about 18 minutes away instead of four minutes away. Um, but that's okay, it looks cute and um, it looks like it'll be another productive day. This marina, no one literally has bothered me since I've been here. I think this is day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is literally day three of me being parked at the marina and no one has bothered me. It's also one of those days where the bed will not be made. When I tell you, these things that I got from Walmart, the thick, you know, fluffy socks, Oh my gosh, they are life-changing. My feet has never been so warm throughout the night. As you can see, it's a little space, so it's like a workout. Just trying to put your clothes on. Uh. As you can see, every day in the van is not picture perfect. And it won't be, and that's okay. This is the little marina. You can tell that's another van lifer because of the max air vent right there. We have trash, little porta potties if you need it. I'm thinking about creating um, a map, put it on my website, so you know all the places that I have stayed at and that it is Antoinette approved. Um, so let me know if that is something that interests you. As of today, you can see it's going to rain on your head. I'm going to call it a day early. I'm going to call it a video. Once again, I appreciate all your love and support. Thank you so much for rocking with me. If you haven't done so already, let's be friends. Go ahead and like, share, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, guys, stay inspired, keep dreaming, and be blessed.